Here's our best teams. Ooh, look at who's at the top, Seattle and New England. This is a regular season. Then we got Denver, Green Bay, Baltimore, Dallas, Philly, Indy. So you basically go here, go put it right under the column V, and you hit descending. Who's our worst team? Hopefully it's Oakland. It is Oakland. <laughs> Yay! Tennessee's pretty horrible too. So is Jacksonville. If we wanted, we can make this. I'm going to make this red. This is kind of bugging me. Um, oh, actually, cancel. I got to modulate the rule. Rules. Rule. Let's go red. Well, you can. You can change it to whatever you want. Everybody has their own preferences. And that's kind of what I'm trying to show you here. If I look at this, this is almost like a video game, guys. Really. If you look at these numbers, if you look at these patterns, it almost looks like a Tetris game. You guys... Just know what Tetris is, right? Okay. <laughs> I thought I was like really, really old. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. You can absolutely do that. Totally. Yes. And or you can also take my the senior class next year, and we basically spend about two and a half weeks analyzing data. And not only this, but we actually, if you go look at some of these tabs here. So I've included everything in here. Go to like week six. You'll see like a week six. Well, actually, all of my weekend, all my notes for this entire season are here on all these different tabs. So this is my notes for week 12. I'm telling you, people would kill for this information. And I'm giving it to you for free. All the bookies, they just, they always want this. But you can see this. Or here's, a, here's one thing I want to show you before we get going here. So you notice it's kind of hard. So let's go back to the main page. You notice it's kind of hard to be, you know, it's kind of difficult to be, you know, looking like this. You know, saying, oh, what's that number versus that number? What I do a lot is I can hide columns. So let's hide it just to, I want to show you that function here. Okay, so I'm going to select B through T. Right click and hit hide. That's a little better to see, right? You can also, I noticed, I did this on mine. You notice when we scroll down that the column headers disappear, right? Here's what we can do, and I do this a lot, is if you go up to this top window on your Excel, you'll see this like two arrows and a line right in the middle. Click and drag it down to your, oh, not that one. There it is. You'll see a double line. Select it and drag it one down. And then click on the boxes below. So see how my headers always stay up here. Right? It always says team averages ratio because I took this and basically put it down one. If we want to unhide it, I select these two columns and hit unhide. Tolerance. I do this a lot in my research. You know, make a bunch of data. I don't want to get rid of it, but I, it's become a bother, so I'll hide it so I can see other things. And it's always there. 
If I want to get back to it, I just unhide it. So tomorrow, your assignment for me is, you know, play around with the data. You know, look around. See, see what you see. There's all kinds of videos at my GVR big data uh, Google page that we go into like big time detail. What I found is what we do is we go and we find information on fumbles, uh, interceptions. Uh, what was the other one? Passes deflected. We all found that these are variables that affect the games and we actually collect this information and use it to help us pick our teams. Tomorrow, we are going to look, we are basically going to see whether any of these teams play better at home or away, statistically. Do you think they do? Yeah. Do you think they always play better at home? Yeah. No. You're going to find some teams that actually play better away statistically. You're going to find some defenses that play better at home and some defenses that might play better away. So what I want you to do tonight, you got a link to a video. We are going to talk about the T-test tomorrow. Anybody here have a T-test? No? I know, I asked the seniors last year and they were like, or I mean in my senior class and Ben Tang said, uh, oh, is that when you like test teas and like drink? And I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, he's, just, he's smart Alec. But anyway, so tomorrow we are going to do T-test. I want you to re to watch that video and we're gonna learn some statistics. We're gonna learn the basically the most famous statistical test and it was all developed to test whether beer tastes better if you ship it off or not. I kid you not. And we're gonna tell the story tomorrow. Okay, all right. so instead of reading a handout tonight, you'll watch the video, I sent you the link, it's in that same email.